This is the grade 3 math practice test for T and Ready. This is question number 14. I'm not super in love with this question, but what are we going to do, right? So in order to get a feel for what our fraction says, we need to look to see how many parts are in our fraction because this is a number line question, really. So I'm going to go to each one of these. These are called tick marks, and I'm going to start here. That would be 1, 2, 3, and 4 parts. So because this is between 0 and 1, it means we broke the value of one whole unit into four equal parts. So if I were to make it into a little graph there, or a little picture, graph, goodness me, a little picture there, it would look like that. So I have it broken into four parts. Now A represents one, two, three. The thing you do not want to do, that is a very popular thing to do if you make a generic mistake here, is to count wrong. Some people, when they count, start here and say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is not at all how this works. Just move on. Get that out of your head. That's not how it works. You have to start at the starting point, then count over. So this is 1, 2, 3. And the reason that you don't say start here and say that's 1, that's like saying, well, how far do I live away from wherever you want to go, McDonald's, for instance. We well, don't stand in your driveway unless your driveway is gigantic and say, well, I've gone one mile. You haven't gone anywhere. Nothing's happened. So you have to stay there. Once you have movement, then you can count. So this is one, two, three of those. So when I do a fraction, the top part is called the numerator. That's the part. And the bottom would be the total parts. So the total parts between 0 and 1, like we said, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the parts that we are interested in, the parts of interest, I suppose, would be 1, 2, 3. So I would say that this is 3 over 4. So my answer to number 14 is M. Now, some of the others. 3 over 2. Well, here's the thing. Here's a quick tip. If the number on top, the numerator, is bigger than the denominator, your value is always going to be over 1. So since this stops at 1, this was no way this was ever going to be a thing. Now, 2 out of 4, I could sort of see, like, maybe somebody would get that, but that's just some bad counting. That would say here. It would also, 2 out of 4 would be right in the middle, and it's not. 2 out of 2... I don't, I don't even really know what would go on to make that happen, but that's one of those things. So anyway, three out of four.